So we're just on site today. And um, what's kind of crazy is that I used to work in construction as a trainee site manager. In fact, before I even became a trainee site manager, I was a general labourer, sweeping up, digging holes, fetching the materials, picking up the coffees. And I loved it. I really enjoyed being on a building site. It was so much fun, you know, especially when I worked with my uncle and been on lots of different developments. And then when I transitioned to become a trainee site manager because the construction company put me through my degree to be a site manager, I learned so much more about buildings. And working on sites was always in my mind because I knew that I wanted to get involved in property. I knew that that's what I wanted to do. Hey, after working in construction for only three short years, I was building up my portfolio. And once I had 10 properties, I decided to hand in my notice and go full time into property. And then over the next decade from there, because I went full time in property at the age of 24, I got started at the age of 19. So at the age of 24, going full time in property, building up my portfolio, and things started to explode thereafter. Set up the Scottish Property Meet, grew to be the second largest property networking event in the UK. My network started to grow. I got invited to speak at different events across the whole of the UK, other property trainers events, different networking events, and my network just exploded. So my portfolio just continued to rapidly grow, started flipping a lot of deals. I was packaging up deals. And I always thought that that's where I was going to be involved in, just single units, simple developments, a little bit of conversions and so forth. And then over the last four or five years, when land just was not something that anyone would even think about, because most people were still burnt from the 2008 recession, when a lot of house builders went under and development just stopped. But we were taking up and snapping up options in lots of different sites. In the last couple of days, we've been out on site, some of the bigger projects. And mainly until the last year, my play in land was just securing land, taking it through planning and selling it on to developers. Because I'm not a builder, what do I know about building? However, the last year, because we've got access to you know, people who want to fund these types of deals, I've got my own investment put into different sites as well. And the money that can be made is ridiculous. It's not just making money on one property, you're making money on this site in particular, 67 units. And this is what I love about this is because I never thought for one minute that this would be me. Never thought for one minute. And if you're looking at this here and thinking, I've still yet to even get started in property, well, I hope you take some inspiration from that because literally my life is very different than it was when I first got started in property. When I went full-time in property, I wish I could tell you that it was all high from there and everything was amazing, and every but it wasn't. It was hard work. It was a roller coaster. Running your own business, being full-time in property, great. You've got the safety net of the income coming in from the property and things starting to build up, but it's not without its challenges. But one thing I can assure you is 100% worth it. And working on bigger developments, the thing and the key to that is it to be surrounded with people who know the game inside out. I've got phenomenal people around me. I've got great construction partners. And the idea here with big land deals is just conducting the orchestra. I don't need to know how to play all the instruments as such, as long as I know how to get them to play in tune. And the same goes with these developments. I mean, this development here, it's in Glasgow. The GDV, which means the value of the development, is 14.1 million. And have a little look here and you can see behind here is a historic building which we're going to be restoring and you can see that here this is really what's enabling the development here is by restoring this historic b-listed building which is going to be three apartments in there there's going to be a little muse at the back which is going to be two apartments and then we're going to be building all these blocks here through the rest of the site so it's quite exciting to be doing this in Glasgow. We're going to be going to one of my other sites, which is going to be new to Merns, which is a smaller bespoke site, which is going to be four luxury flats and apartments there. Yesterday we were on sites through in Linlithgow and Falkirk. We were out in um, different sites throughout Glasgow as well, which are still planning gameplays. Some of the smaller ones we're going to be developing and building out. So it's just crazy. It's crazy to think that it's went full circle. Starting off working in sites as a general labourer, sweeping up digging holes to get out on my own journey, going full time in property, focusing on just building a portfolio, doing smaller deals to at one point thought, look, why not go for bigger things? And that's it. For me, listen, I've been financially free for a very long time. Making money on this year, there's three million quid profit on this site alone. That's awesome. That's great. That's brilliant. But it's 
feeling that you're doing something, you're impacting things, you're building something, you're leaving a legacy, you know? So when I look at all the different developments I'm involved in just now, it's crazy. I still need to pinch myself and ask myself whether this is real. So again, there's no really any point in this video here other than to inspire and hope that I can get someone to get started in their journey. Maybe planting a little seed to fester away to think, well, what if I just take the first step and do my first property deal? You know, whatever it may be. My recommendation is maybe look at some of our programs. Check out propertyprotege.com or look at some of our jumpstart events that we're doing because now we're coming out of lockdown and so forth, we're going to be putting more events on just to help people getting started in the property. And hey, who knows? There's no reason why at some point in the near future you can't be working on these sites as well. But it all starts with just getting your first property under your belt. I'm on personal story. I never had any money, no contacts, no knowledge, no prior experience. I had bad credit. I looked like I was 12 years old when I got started in property. I had all the things that would normally hold someone back from getting started, but I just didn't allow it to be the case. I got resourceful. I knew what I wanted and I aggressively pursued it. I knew there was going to be challenges. I knew that I was going to fall flat in my face and, and I never had any mentors or coaches to show me the way. Hence why I made lots of mistakes. But you don't have to get a mentor, get a coach, get knowledge, because knowledge is so important because you don't know what you don't know. And when you get the right information, you start applying it, it's unbelievable. With everything that's going on in the world just now, with all the uncertainty, you've got to take control of your financial future. It's important. It's vitally important. And there's no better way of doing that than to build up your property portfolio, build up your cash flow by doing cash flow by doing some deal trades or flipping property and being a developer, just starting off with one unit, let alone a <laughs> hundred units or so forth. All right. So my recommendation is let that seed fester away. Or if you're already involved in property, and you want to accelerate things, get more aggressive. You know, I believe in you, especially, I mean, I needed someone to tell me that they believed in me because in the early days, no one believed in me. So if you're willing to do the work, you're willing to learn, you're willing to put yourself out there and take action, you'll get the rewards as well. And if you truly want, you can have it if you just take the time to learn how to get it and then apply. So hope you got a little bit of insight in there. And um, yes, all the best. I'll catch you soon.